Yo, what's going on guys, man? And welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you four easy music video lighting setups only using two lights. Pretty much gonna be using the Aperture 120D along with the Quasar Science 2. Don't really get caught up in the gear and feel like that you actually need to use the gear that I'm showing you within this video. And one thing to keep in mind, uh, these Quasar lights, these tubes, usually don't come with super long cords. This one is like a six foot cord. I think it's the longest one I've ever seen from Quasar. So what I simply did was got an extension cord to attached to the end of this power cord, which made the um, actual power cord longer. And I can pretty much place the light anywhere within these setups. The setups I'm gonna be showing you all took place within my bedroom, but my bed was in the way and I took it apart just so I can do this video. I could have did it in here, but it's too many windows and yeah, it was just too big of a space and too much light was going to get in and I kind of wanted to have a controlled environment. So yeah, I took apart my bed and now um, enabled me to do all of these different lighting setups that I'm about to show you. With this first setup, all I did was take a black sheet and place it on a white wall to have a black background. I took the Quasar Science Soup and placed it on a C-stand um, attached to a boom arm set to 6,000 Kelvin and 2000 Kelvin to get multiple looks. So this light is gonna be placed directly behind the subject, but another great alternative that you can use is this, I think it's a Young Nuo, yeah, Young Nuo 360 strip light. It's got this magnetic like orange filter to go on the front side to give it like a tungsten look, which is pretty cool. I've used this Young Nuo 360 light before in my previous music video shoot. So like I said, if you're on a budget and looking for something that's gonna be a cheaper option for you, I would highly recommend picking up one of these lights. So I kind of think this setup looks best while using the Black Pro Mist filter, Black Pro Mist 1 4th, but I really was liking how it looked without. So maybe the 1 8th will look a lot better for my liking, even though I'm used to using the 1 4th. It kind of just comes down to personal preference so I kind of didn't like how it looked with the Black Pro Mist. It kind of was just giving it a weird look that I usually don't see with the Black Pro Mist. So maybe the 1 8th, if I had the 1 8th Black Pro Mist filter, that could have been a better option. But I think maybe the 1 4th was a bit too strong for this setup. For this look with the Quasar set to 6000 Kelvin, I set my white balance within the camera to a cool tone to enhance the bluish cool look that I was going for. And when the Quasar was set to 2000 Kelvin, pretty much a tungsten tone, I set my white balance to more of a warmer tone to enhance that tungsten look. With this particular setup, I would recommend a three to four foot tube or longer so it fills the entire frame to give it that endless look. This next setup is pretty simple. Um, it's kind of like an overhead look and all I did was use two lights, like I said, the Quasar Science Tube and the Aperture 120D. You can see in this setup that I have the Quasar placed directly above my head on the C-stand, on a boom pole. Even though these Quasar lights are pretty lightweight, make sure it's nice and secure when it comes to placing it high above on the C-stand. I just use gaffer's tape to secure the light. And one pro tip when it comes to using gaffer's tape or tape in general is to make folds at the end of your cut to make it easier on yourself when it comes to taking the tape off so you're not fighting the tape to get it off. Also in this setup, we have the 120D with the Fresnel attachment. Now what this pretty much is, is like a spotlight for your 120D or whatever light that has a Bowen's mount. You can pretty much change this from flood or to spot. That's why I enjoy using this because it kind of shapes light pretty much how you want it. If you want a wider look, all you would do is just set it to flood. And if you want more of a spotlight look, all you would do is just twist this to the right. Real easy and simple. And you would get that spotlight pretty much on whatever you're filming. Then I placed the orange gel directly in front of the Aperture 2X. I ordered these gels on Amazon about a year or so ago, but you can easily find these in any local craft store. So basically with this light and the Fresnel attachment, it's basically going to act as a kicker slash headlight to separate the subject from the background. In my opinion, I think that this setup is pretty traumatic since the quasar light really isn't a super soft light so you're going to see a lot of shadows and contrast within the setup and if you wanted to bring up those shadows without using an additional third light you can easily just use a reflector so the light can bounce back up to lift up the shadows around your neck and chin area Now with this one, it is pretty easy to get different looks within this setup. If you just wanted to have on the kicker light for an even more dramatic look, that's an option. If you wanted just a quasar and no kicker, that's an option as well, along with many others. Just get creative with it and you can really change up this setup in many different ways. So with this next setup, it's pretty much kind of the same as the overhead light setup. 
um, but this is going to work best when the artist or the subject is wearing shades. All I did was lower the position of the quasar light and change the orange gel to a blue gel on the 120D with the Fresnel attachment. And like I said, this setup works best when the subject is wearing shades, so the reflection of the quasar light is going to appear within the shades. And I think that this is probably the easiest and most stylistic look to use for your music videos, especially using this Quasar Science Tube because it has these different lighting effects that you can use within the light, which I think are pretty cool. All right, and so for this last and final lighting setup, I was trying to go for like a darker type vibe essentially so basically what i did was i took down the black sheet to use a white wall for the backdrop i'm still going to be using the 120d but instead of using the fresnel attachment i'm going to be using the light dome instead for a softbox with the green gel placed inside of it at a 45 degree angle placed behind me directly hitting the wall so the light doesn't affect the subject just the wall behind me all i did for the gel was take some gaffer's tape and tape the green gel to the inside of the light dome not too close with the light because this is kind of some cheap gel and I didn't want the light to melt the gel. So just be careful when you are placing the light or so just be careful when you're placing the gel close to the light because it could melt if it's cheap and you don't want that. Now basically what this is going to do is add a greenish glow or a green light to the white background to add some color for this setup. Then I place the quasar light higher above my head on the CSAN set at a red tone, but honestly, I really wasn't feeling how it was looking. So I just switched it back to 6,000 Kelvin and adjusted the white balance within my camera to enhance the green gel within the 120D. This particular quasar light does have these different lighting modes or lighting effects within the light. So I just played around with the different modes. And I used like the paparazzi, the flicker mode. Um, it's like a fire mode within it too. For that flicker type of effect that I was getting with the actual 120D with the green light, um, all I did was take the remote and turn the light on and off numerous times. Um, it's that simple. If you want to get actual like lighting effects within the 120D, you would have to pick up the Aperture 120D Mark II. It has almost like the same effects that the Quasar light has with like the paparazzi firework mode. Um, all these kind of different effects so if you wanted to get that within the light you have to pick up the 120d mark ii but for this particular setup all i did was turn the light on and off numerous times with the wireless remote so you know using what i have and just making it work all right guys man that's going to be it for these four different lighting setups for your music videos um do me one favor and head down to the comments and let me know what was your favorite setup if you guys have any inputs to add to make these more stylistic and if you have any suggestions to add to these different lighting setups and also if you guys are interested in buying the hoodie that i was wearing within this video uh, it's a tribe movement hoodie um, you can find more at tribemovement.net you guys can see the tribe logo on there it's pretty cool if you guys enjoyed this video or found it to be informational to you hit that like button if you're new here consider subscribing i'm out guys peace